This is the Preppy Crafty Girl again, and I am doing a quick video about continuing on gathering things for your junk journal hymnal. So I have my hymnal, and I got kind of cut off on the last video, and thank you for giving me some grace, because I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. So some of the things you want to gather is are going to be things that you would want to put on your cover. And because we're doing a hidden binding, I chose to use this this is from Turkey, this bookmark, and I'm going to put that on the edge, and I'm kind of pulling out the blue, there's like a navy blue medallion in here, and I want to, I have these book, or labels from Italy, and then this is a vintage ticket, so I'm kind of incorporating just some things that I've gathered, and I want to kind of keep the not too dimensional. I want the focus to be actually on what's on the book. I may go in and add some paint around the edges to try to meld it all together. So that's what I've pulled for the cover. And then I uh, for you want to gather, I don't know if I said this in the last video, but you want to get a piece of Tyvek, which you can find at any office supply store. It they're Tyvek T Y V E K. Um, envelopes and you want to get a piece of that the same size the same and you want to cut it it comes in different size envelopes but you want to cut them you want to cut the one for your binding the same length as your book or the height of your book and then you want to do it the same this is a one inch so you want to take the amount of the thickness of your book and then you want to add in an inch and a half and then that way this will be your binding which will go on the inside of your book okay some other things and uh, i apologize they're here doing my yard work so you're going to hear i don't know if you can hear that or not so i apologize <laughs> but i gathered some vintage items that i had in my hoard of for lack of a better word of collecting over many years of going to garage sales and thrift stores and going to actual like thrift stores and antique shops in all like when I, in my travels so from Europe I have some things from Italy and Denmark and Sweden and Peru and I just have stuff everywhere so from from everywhere so I just want to start incorporating it and use it use what I have so I just I'll just give you an example of some things that I'm going to decorate my pages with and because we are, had already talked about our base pages and now I want you to pull some smaller items that you can add in for journaling, for decorating. You don't have to, there's also printables out there, but it, I think it's kind of neat. I look back when I see some of these things and I, I remember where I was when I got them and, and that's kind of cool. So if you can do that, then do it. If not, you know, there's plenty of places that you can just search vintage ephemera on Etsy or eBay and it, things will come up or go to your grandmother's house and I'm sure she has some stuff so this is just like a, a card play, a card game tally book I have some fabric the this is a old notepad I love the little sunbonnet girls so cute this came off of the uh, piece that I showed in the last video it was just some bits left off but I'm gonna add that in these were I took punch punches when I'm done reading a magazine if there's some cool fonts or a pattern in the magazine I will punch it out so you can see on the back of this this may have come out of flow or Daphne's diary or whatever but I liked the typewriter font on this side so I ended up just grabbing some of those this came from Italy it's a bridge card set this was from Denmark it's some German scrap that I had it off of a big sheet of German scrap it's called oh here's some photos I want to do this is a uh, seam tape the packaging which uh, it just happened it was on my table because I was using the seam tape and I just happened to notice that this can slide down in there my photos and I can tell you where in the next video where I get my photos printed out because this their quality is amazing and it's not too expensive so uh, this is a book I got, somebody left it on the train when I was in Montecatini Terme and I picked it up and then we, I just shared it with some of my art lady 
friends. We just kind of cut it up and it's, it's in Italian. Yeah. And then, um, this I got actually in Italy. It's new, but I love the musical because I'm using a hymnal. I love the, the, uh, illustration. These, I guess, came out of, uh, uh, I don't even know what these are from. Some kind of reading thing. So you can add. I like the Behold. Became Behold. So. This is a airmail envelope that I just had in my stash. It came from an Italian um, vintage place we found in our travels. Some German book paper. This is a sweet little girl with praying hands. I just love this. I got this in Montecatini Terme. It's actually printed, but uh, this is actually came out of, I got a box of these out of a uh, thrift store that we found. This is from Flow Magazine. I loved the floral and I'm probably going to put it on this page that I do this in. This is some vintage, and you're gonna hear vintage a lot because all this stuff is. Uh, this is some wrapping paper, and this is the only sheet that I have, but I'm going to use, I was a Tuesday child, so it says, I was born on a Tuesday, and it says Tuesday's child is full of grace, so I'm gonna add that on a page. Uh, let's see. This came out of Flow for Paper Lovers. I love the little antique type china. That was really pretty. This came out of a magazine. I love these girls. And so I cut it out. It's actually some kind of send off for a free pattern. Um, so I'm going to add this in. I don't know if I'll use the whole thing or if I might just cut out one of the girls. I'm not really sure yet. Then I have this is some kind of, I forgot what this is called, but they used to make quilts and I have some placemats made out of these little round yo-yos, maybe they were called. And uh, I got a bag of them from an estate sale. So I'm going to somehow incorporate these. You can do 3D elements. I don't know how much 3D I'm going to do because I only have a one inch binding. So we'll see. And then these are some... These are not old. These are new, I've, but I've had them for a long time. I think they were Webster's Pages and uh, little doilies, crochet doilies. And I have some vintage playing cards. I really loved the um, the artwork on them with the birds, so I pulled some of those. And you're going to want a large eye tapestry needle, I think they're called, or if you have a book binding needle, that will work. I like using the tapestry needle because even though it's rounded, it's still a little sharp and can pierce through the paper. And then this is a uh, craft thread from Tim Holtz. I bought some of his craft th thread, which I really like um, because it's really smooth. It doesn't catch when you're doing book binding and, it, and he has some really neat colors. But you can use, uh, ta uh, not tapestry, but um, they call it carpet thread or upholstery thread some kind of heavy weight you can even use the wax linen thread I have some of that but this time I wanted to add a little bit of color um, you're not going to see it except for where I do the inside binding so I wanted to add I'm kind of sticking with this little hints of blue in throughout my book I want to kind of incorporate that because it's on the cover so that's what you're going to need for the inside things you could gather. You could gather buttons. You can gather trim. Like I have some of these just sitting on my desk. These were out of a gilt edge. They were stamps out of a collecting back in the day where you like s &H green stamps. This was kind of one of them. I have some uh, uh, fortune cookie <laughs> things. <laughs> I have... So I have a bag of labels that I printed off off the internet. So I'm, I might incorporate some of these because they there are blue. These were uh, it was a class I took, um, Remains of the Day with Marianne Moss. So I'm gonna pull some of those out. She as part of that class, you receive some printables, and I will probably I guess that one's going wanting to go in my book. 
just topped out of there to don't list. So to do and to don't list, stop talking. That's going to be my cue right now to stop talking. So that's kind of what you want to gather up. Just some things like that. Washi tapes and just whatever inspires you to go in and journal. And you're going to want to maybe have some craft paint in the colors that you're going to do in your book. And you're going to want to have maybe watercolors or watercolor pencils or something like that. You could choose brads and eyelets and whatever you like to decorate your pages with. All the little ephemera you've been collecting, the little bits and bobs. Um, I really like to use either book paper I like to cut out little clippings of words and things like that. Like here's one that I've clipped out just because I liked it. And then it's been sitting on my desk. So right now what I'll probably do is I pull stuff that I have like from another project that I just toss in a little bowl on my desk. And that I'll probably incorporate into this because I really want to clean up my desk. So this says, God the Lord through every nation, let thy wonders mercy shine. And that would be really good to put on like a prayer list page for the nation. So Okay, so I'm going to leave you to gather up your supplies. In the next video, we are going to start on our making our inserts for the signatures for the inside of the book. So if you like what I'm doing or if you're doing it, like my page, please share it. Please become a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, see you soon.